Hi everybody, in today's video I have set myself a bit of a challenge. I have come out with only my 50mm 1.8 prime lens and really testing myself in terms of finding compositions uh, that really are going to suit that. I normally shoot with my 24-200 as you probably know if you've watched this channel before. So yeah, I'm looking forward actually to the challenge, looking forward to doing something a little bit different and really kind of expanding my creativity. So I think I found my first shot already actually. Um, there's a kind of mobile building thing which I'll show you in a second. I have no idea what it's called. Um, and it's not been here before actually, so it's lending itself quite well to this shot. What I'm gonna do actually I think is take this one in black and white because I think it's gonna work so much better. So let me just show you on the back of camera. Now, obviously this is going to be in color. Now, obviously I haven't got a zoom lens on. So what that means is that uh, obviously there's on the right hand side, you can just see some tree branches poking into the shot. Now, of course, if I had a zoom lens, you could zoom right in, remove those. I've tried moving different positions, but there's just no possibility to really get that tree or tree branches out of the way. So all I can do is just crop it out in post processing. I've made sure that those tree branches are far enough to the edge of that screen. So I'm not gonna to lose too many pixels when I crop because I've got a Nikon uh, and Nikon helpfully <laughs> loses the, the pixels when you crop. working on some black and white photography, really looking at negative space. So rather than filling up the whole frame, really getting things that, that stand out as kind of solo on that landscape and really just removing that need to put the, you know, the whole horizon um, on the center of the shot. So just experimenting with some lower horizons really to make whatever I'm photographing stand out more. So next on my uh, list of possibilities is to look for some silhouettes of trees. Again, I think I'm going to stick in black and white for this because I think it's going to work better, particularly as I said, because I'm looking for silhouettes. The sky is actually fairly interesting at the moment. There's quite a few kind of clouds. It's not flat grey. There's actually some variation in here as well. So it's just a question of looking for the right trees, looking for the clouds being nice in the background, and see if I can also wait for some birds to sit in those trees as well. Although the way it's going so far, every time there's birds on the trees, as I get closer, Murphy's Law dictates that they fly off. So who knows, maybe my luck will change eventually. This may not be the most amazing location. I haven't been here before actually uh, in summer for sunrise when there's wheat fields and everything else like that. But you can see it's quite a busy uh, kind of area. There's people walking dogs all the way along here, cars going past, etc., etc., which you can hear. <laughs> but as I said, you know, photography is not all is about the, the amazing, wonderful shot, the amazing locations. The challenge of photography is actually something that I enjoy just as much. Um, so again, just working on this, it's again, it's not going to win any awards, but I quite like the, the different shapes of the hills. Uh, again, with the 50 mil, so I'm getting a reasonably wide angle on this, obviously not massively wide. Uh, and the sky is doing something a little bit. I mean, this is fast becoming, I think, more of a, a black and white photography day, because I think some of these scenes work a lot better in black and white. But again, where um, actually they work, I think potentially in color and black and white, I'll upload both into this video. Again, feel free to comment on whether you prefer the colour or the black and white version. Yeah, 
another good thing about using my prime lens today is that I can go handheld now. So ditching the tripod, anyone doing the B-roll uh, for this video, but it's great. As I said before, it's not the most beautiful location, but I kind of chose it because I knew there would be some kind of houses, some man-made details that I could include in. So particularly now I've kind of switched this into black and white and it's been raining on off and on. So it means the roads are slightly wet as well, which I think always adds a much nicer dimension to these types of photos. You get a bit of reflection, you get a bit of shine off the road. When the roads are dry, it's not particularly great because I think it's just way too flat. Particularly as I said, when we've got relatively flat light as well, there's just enough light coming through to light up those wet roads. I would definitely describe today's photography as challenging but fun. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching and see you next time.